Now it's day two. Dive. Now we have a series of commands that we are to process to move the submarine. And we have to keep track of the horizontal position and the depth. And then at the end, we multiply the horizontal position and the depth to get the answer. And then in part two, things just work a little bit differently. The commands do different things, and that's specified here. And this walks through the changes that happen with the test data. Here's how I solved it. Here's the test data. Here's the full data, 1,000 instructions. And first is the task of reading the data from the file and providing it as a tuple with the two parts. So here is a function that is a generator because it uses yield. And it opens the data file. And for every line in the file, it splits into two parts, a string containing the command and a string containing the number. And since we want to deal with that number as a number and not a string containing a number, we use int here. And now we yield a tuple consisting of the command, which is a string, and the amount, which is an int. So that's what movements does. Also, I made a custom type here just to make this a little clearer. This is a generator or iterator of movements, and a movement is a tuple of the two parts, the string and the integer. Okay, let's look at the solving. And here you see at the end we, we call solve once with aiming set to false and once with aiming set to true. So aiming set to false is part one of the puzzle. Aiming set to true is part two of the puzzle. So this function solve takes a Boolean parameter saying whether we're aiming or not. In other words, whether it's part two or not. And it returns an integer, which is the solution, the depth multiplied by the horizontal position. Okay, remember movements is a function uh, that's a generator, so we can use it in a for in, and it returns a tuple, which we extract into the two parts. And then we use match. This is new in Python. And we match on the command. We want to do different things depending on the command. And for the forward command, we always increment the horizontal position. And if we're aiming, then we modify the depth. And you can look in the problem description again to see the details of that. Here we're checking to see if the command is up and we're aiming, in other words, part two. And in part two, up affects aim like this. If we're not aiming, part one, then up affects depth like this. And down is the same as up, it's just adding instead of subtracting. So that's my solution. Um, interesting bits, I guess. Creating a custom type to simplify this return type. And using yield to make a generator. And that generator can be used with a for in. And the match is interesting with match and case. And the case can even have a condition. Okay, see you in the next one.